here in the city of Zurich and I give you all a very warm welcome here in the Stadthaus of Zurich. You have chosen this Friday morning for the marriage of Yuka Kanazawa and Zeno Davats. Sie haben sich definitiv. Sie haben sich diesen Freitagmorgen ausgesucht für die Zivilstrauung von Zeno Davats und Yuka Kanazawa. Sie beide sind anwesend als Trauzeugen und sie werden am Schluss der Zeremonie das Register unterschreiben. You are here as witnesses and at the end of the ceremony you are going to sign the register. Some time ago you applied for the preparation of your marriage and you are appearing today for the marriage ceremony as arranged. Sie haben vor einiger Zeit das Gesuch und Vorbereitung ihrer Eheschließung gestellt und sie erscheinen heute, wie vereinbart, zur Trauung. Innerhalb der gesetzlichen Frist von zehn Tagen sowie aufgrund der von Ihnen unterzeichneten Erklärung und abgegebenen Heiratspapiere hat sich ergeben, dass gegen Ihre beabsichtigte Eheschließung kein gesetzliches Hindernis besteht. <lacht> During the legal period and based on the declaration signed by you, as well as the documents submitted, it, it has been shown that there is no legal impediment against your intended marriage. And the marriage can therefore be contracted. Und die Trauung kann somit durchgeführt werden. But before asking you whether you want to get married, I'd like to tell you a little story. It's apart from the little prince from Antoine de saint exupéry The little prince is traveling around and he arrives on a planet and there reigns a king and this king says that everything he orders is being fulfilled. The little prince does not really understand how that should work. He wonders what happens if he wants something and the king orders it whether this wish as well is being fulfilled. And so the prince says to the king, I'd like to watch a sunset. Will you command the sun to set to please me? If I were to order a general to fly from flower to flower like a butterfly, or to write a tragedy, or to change into a seabird, and the general didn't carry out the order, which of us would be in the wrong? You would, said the little prince. Correct. One must only ask of people what they're capable of doing. The king went on. Authority rests primarily in reason. If you were to command your people to go and throw themselves into the sea, there'd be a revolution. I have the right to expect obedience because my orders are reasonable. So what about my sunset? Said the little prince who never gave up a question once he had asked it. You'll get your sunset. I shall insist on it but I shall use my knowledge of the science of government to wait till conditions are favorable. Well, a nice little...